Boris Johnson has acknowledged that many people are facing a tough time after new figures showed employment in the UK fell by the largest amount for more than a decade between April and June. The number of people in work dropped by 220,000. That's the biggest fall since the financial crisis. The figures don't include the millions of people who were furloughed. So what are big companies looking for in potential candidates and are companies actually recruiting? Well, we're joined now by Karenza Jennings, BT's Group Director of Digital Impact. Um, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, so there is the question, what are companies looking for at the moment in potential candidates? The most important thing is communication skills, the ability to work as a team, but also passion. Um, at BT, we're really looking for people who are incredibly passionate about doing a fantastic job. So that work ethic is really critical. And we're here to help them as well. We're, we're, we're producing a wide range of um, programs and initiatives under our Work Ready banner. So if you go to BT Skills for Tomorrow, there's lots and lots of resources to help people. Um, we have webinars. We've had more than 65 webinars in the last few months over lockdown to help enable and equip people with the kinds of skills that we feel are really valuable in the workplace. Part of it's bouncing back, part of it's resilience, part of it's coping strategies, and part of it, when it comes to working in the work, going to the workplace, is, is showing that great sense of passion and that curiosity, the ability to learn and the desire to learn. How do you do that? Say again? How do you do that? How do, how do you demonstrate passion? I think it's partly about them being, being completely authentic and being real. So if you say you want to do something, then it's really helpful to build up the experience in your home life and actually practice it. So, for example, say that you're currently not in work or not in education in any form, then I would recommend that you actually practice. For example, say you want to write, practice writing, set up a blog, um, get your work out there. Um, really have a go yourself and build up those skills and build up the resilience and practice. Insofar as there are jobs to be found, can you give us a sense of, of what they might be a little bit more? You've mentioned communications, but I mean, there will be people listening to this who perhaps have lost their jobs and are a bit at a loss as to, as to where to start. The most important thing is to keep looking and don't give up. Um, even years ago when I was um, looking to go onto the job market, you get so many blowbacks, you get so many rejections, you get so many people that don't get back to you. The really important thing is to pick yourself up and keep going. Um, there are jobs out there, um, you know, and there's lots, of, there's lots of schemes as well. And in fact, one of the fantastic schemes that BT is backing is something called Fast Futures. Um, and the applications are open right now, right through to Monday, the 17th of August. And that's for 18 to 22 year olds who want to have a completely free opportunity to do a three month training program. And that's introducing them to employability skills, digital skills. I would say digital skills is one of the most important things you can focus on, even if you have some spare time at the moment. 82 percent of all vacancies currently require digital skills. So it's really important that you practice them use collaboration tools, get used to working with a computer, build up your resilience. Um, it's less important the functional skills and it's more important your adaptability and your resilience. So it's really important to practice having a go at things and, and learning problem solving. Problem solving is one of the most important assets you can bring to any company. Uh, Professor Karenza Jennings, Director of Digital Impact at BT, really good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.